I just don't know what it means. Yeah, yeah, I know you're doing what? that one. I'm preaching. Brilliant. I've got a question. Um, you have to hear my preaching. Um, I'd, I'd like to ask you a question. I'm here to preach a major dispute. It's a, it's a question about the Quran. So the Quran makes a claim. It says in Surah 5, I have three. Step back, bro. I can handle myself. I'm a big man. Yeah, come on, bro. He's a big boy. I'm a big boy. All right. All right. I don't need your advice. Thanks, God is with me. Amen. God is looking. No, I thought you know. No, yeah? no, 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 Let me tell you one thing, yeah? Yeah, go on. I'm, I'm a Muslim. I follow the Quran. Which version of Islam? Sorry, just sort of uh, Salafi. I'm a Sunni. Sunni, okay. Yeah. But God teaches me don't dispute. Yeah? And he says to me, argue with anyone who comes in a good way. Yeah. Yeah? Good. Argue with me in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So I ask you a question. If I can help you, I will. And if I can't, I'm going to walk away. Okay, that's fine. And that's fine. how we're going to do it. That's fine. So, the Quran states, This day, I have perfected your religion for you. Where did it say that? What's the surah? In surah 5. Oh, ah, surah 5, okay. Ayah 3. 5, 3. And it goes, and it gives a okay, list. Listen. Gives a list of commands about things that you can eat and things that you shouldn't do. Dead like animals. Dead animals, animals, all that. Blood of the and divination of the arrows. And then it goes on and it says this. Uh, uh, exactly. Blow. All that stuff. And then it says, This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. So very simple question. Was that the last ayah of the Quran that to be revealed, or were there other ayahs revealed after? Not sure. Well, I am a bit more sure than you that actually there were other ayahs revealed after this one. Yeah. So I accuse Allah because the Quran commands me, not you, commands me to consider this Quran. And if it's from any other than Allah, I will find contradictions. So that's a challenge to me, not to you. Yeah. So I'm entitled to do this Go according do to Allah, because Allah is the one that gave me the permission. Then what happened? So here's the thing. If Allah is saying that this day, so that's one day in history, I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you, but then other ayahs of the Quran were revealed, then that means that on the day that he said this, he was telling a lie. Because the religion wasn't completed, the revelation wasn't perfected. Because if there were other ayahs of the Quran to be revealed, then, then there was imperfection. There was a lack of completeness. So what it really means, if I'm right, no, social other ayahs, oh, I'm sorry. Please. If I'm right about what it says about other ayahs of the Quran being revealed, yeah. then that means that what it should say is, this day I have not yet perfected your religion, nor yet completed my blessings upon you. But the Quran doesn't say that. It says exactly the opposite. So can Allah say something that's not true? Like I said to you, I don't know the order it came in. Yeah. Yeah. So really and truly, I can't answer your question. Uh, I, I, I promise you, this is not the last of the ayahs revealed. That's what you say. How do I know you're telling the truth? Uh, because Muslims have told me that the, yeah. the last ayah. Well, then argue with, with them because I don't. I told you I don't know. So do a thought experiment with me. I don't want to. I, I'm asking you to. Why, why, to. Why, you're here to preach Islam. I'm you're preaching. here to give that. Want to hear me? Well, what I want is like someone to, to answer my question. I've answered it. I said, I don't know the order it came in, so how can I answer your question? But, granted, you don't know. All right. But if... The conversation finished. No, it's not finished. It is. Not because finished. you're asking me again and again not the same finished. thing. I can tell you. If I can't, now listen, if I don't know the order it came in, how can I answer your question? You're saying it came in a different order. That yes. came in before, something came in after. I don't know if that's true. Is there something wrong with I, my logic? I don't know if that's true. Is there something wrong with my logic? I don't logic? know if that's true. If it's true or not, I don't know. Well, let's say it is true. Let's no, say I cannot say that. Do a thought experiment. I can't do that. Do a thought I experiment. I can't do this. Let's say. It's a thought it experiment. Work for me. A thought experiment. Let's say it don't work for me. But let's not say, really let's say I'm right. Oh, wait, wait. That there were other ayahs that came oh, after the Let's Quran. say you're wrong. Well, we'll do we'll do that for uh, yeah, that's also fair. Yeah, we'll wrong. Do wrong well. we'll do both. Yeah, both. You've already done that. Bit. Let's say I'm right, and then uh, no, I haven't. Right and wrong. Yeah. Right. Uh, then you reworded no, God's no, words. This is the right first, and then wrong. Yeah, yeah. So let's 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 say I'm right, and then let's say I'm wrong. Okay. I haven't been so interrupting you. You asked me a question, and I came back with you, and I gave you my I response. But now you still want to carry on because because you can do a thought experiment. 
I don't, I don't need to though. You can do. I don't need to. But you're giving dawah. I'm preaching. Ah, I'm accusing okay. your Quran of being in contradiction. Okay, then ah, okay, give me that one. So, so, so defend your Quran. Yeah, defend it. Okay, okay. preaching. Great. What I say, defend, defend the contradiction. But what that you're saying, I don't know if it's true, my friend. Well, so how do I know? know? You don't know which I am. So how do I know? Second, second, are these words true? Are, are these words true? Me no, let's right, right, look. Which when you're saying the order, is this hold on a sec. When you're saying the order it came in, I don't know if what you're saying is actually true. Yes. Yeah? So I have to go away, go and check. I'll come back to you next week. And I can come back with the truth. Maybe maybe someone can Google what the last ayah of the I Quran reveals. Surah, surah 110 is the last surah. So surah 110. 110. Oh, okay, let's check. This is this is by Muslims, by the way. Muslims say that surah 110 is the last ayah, the last revelation of the Quran. But the Quran says in Surah 5, Ayah 3. This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favour upon you. So if it was perfected and completed, why did Allah need to keep adding to perfection? Why did Allah keep needing to add to something that's complete? That's my question. It's a fair question. If he did that, then that's what he did. Right. If he did that, if what you're saying is true, and if he did that, and I don't know if it's true or not, that's what you did. We, we've just we've just established now if we've just established from Oracle Google that Muslims claim that the last surah of the Quran is Surah 110, which means that Surah 5, no, Ayah said that. 3. Hold on a sec. Google this man said Google that. Google said it. Yeah? I don't know. Who's Google? Google? Who's Google? Who's Google to me? Why is it? Why is it Muslims are running from an obvious contradiction in their book? I am pointing out to you an obvious contradiction in your book. Your book claims that in Surah 5, verse 3, there was a day when Allah pronounces himself the religion of Islam to be complete and perfect. But Muslim sources themselves say that other verses of the Quran were revealed. Which means that when Allah said, on this day I have perfected and completed your religion, yeah. that really what he should have said yeah. is that on this day I have not yet perfected your religion and not yet completed your religion. Yeah. So was Allah wrong when he said this? Was he wrong? Yes. Listen, I don't know the order it came in. I keep telling you the same thing. We've established it. There's no, other verses. No, that's him. When him is checking. I check myself. I don't okay. rely on other people and their ways and what they say. Is there yeah. any Muslim that thinks Surah 5, Ayah 3 was the very last verse of the Quran to be revealed? No. It doesn't appear to be. Nobody. Do you know why? Because no Muslim argues that. You're saying you don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling fine. you. I'm fine with that as well. I'm you telling you. No I Muslim read my book. I worship God. Yes. Yeah. I'm kind to people. Great. Yeah. I'm courteous. Fantastic. I'm polite. Fantastic. Now politely, I'm going to finish you. So, you go away, okay. No, I'm not going to go away. Please. Because this is speaking. Now, listen, calling. I'm asking him politely. You're allowed right. to go away the yourself. The discussion is over. No, no. You're allowed to go away. Speaker's because corner. Listen, like I said to you, people get heckled all I'll the time. I'll check. I'll check. What you said, and I'll come back to you. Is there any Muslim that believe? I'm asking you the question. Was my Allah wrong when he said, this day Allah's I have wrong? Allah is never wrong. Never wrong. So now think about this logically. Just because he's got an idea of, oh, that verse came after, this came after, he wants to, he wants to look for faults in Allah being wrong. The yeah, Allah is uh, wrong. In what way? Allah is wrong. In what way? Because Allah claims that on he this day. He doesn't teach wrong. In the Allah, Quran, one second. Yeah, it wrong. teaches people it's wrong. how to be nice it and says kind. This. How to it be says this. Un unlawful. Yeah, he teaches them to it be says lawful. This. Yeah, he teaches this them to be charitable. I have yeah? perfected your religion. He teaches people for you yeah, to believe and in something my better. Favor, right? He teaches you people to believe in something in better. Your religion as yeah, away from. But then the Quran. Yeah? Has bad revelation which given what human beings end up other doing revelations and putting themselves other in the hires that came come after this ayah and come into the light. And if they came after this ayah, then that means when Allah says, This day I've perfected your religion, this day I've completed your religion, Allah was wrong. Because Allah had he other believes things Allah is to wrong. say. Allah, Allah believes Allah is right. 
so, so. No, behind, no, what was the context? Oh, behind the ring, the... Oh, the people! Like, Indeed! Oh, the one there is humiliation the, the, the with celebrity. Question. The important question. And you want to talk about? there is death no, 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 with life. No, 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 you want to and matters. there is hereafter no, 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 with this worldly no, no, life. I want to ask you this And for everything, right? there is a reckoning. And there is a guardian of everything. And there is a reward for every good deed. And there is a punishment for every bad deed. Yes. Exactly, um, completed. And there is so an end to add for each life. Oh, oh people, so repent before you die and impart Go upon on, good deeds before you became occupied and connect with what is between you and yes. your Lord and by remembering him all the time and indeed you will be happy give much charity is that completed? so you will be endowed by God and to others so protect yourself forbid evil if you're adding to something so you will be victorious oh people the smartest among you is the one who on, remember how? death the most I just ask and the you, wisest you, among you is the one who is best ready for it Sorry? indeed among the signs you of wisdom yes. are shunning yes. the falsehood of this life if you turn it towards this eternal this life nothing, being fully a your analogy is live in the grave it is flawed because if something is 100% perfect you can't no. improve upon it. What was the context behind this? You can't improve what was upon the it. What was the, you tell you me, can't improve upon it. Because you're talking about the way you tell me the context. Well, so here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Allah is saying, this day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Right. So here's the thing. If this statement is true, there is no need to add. You know what I'm going to find out for you, yeah? Is what he added afterwards, Go if on it's then. true. Tell us. Yeah, if it's true. If you think that's then important we'll to answering this question. The context is not important. No, brother. The context is a the statement. Main thing. The statement. The statement. Uh, you made the okay, so the context the is about the things about foods that you can eat, no. things that you should know. No, no, that, no, that is literally the context. That is literally the context. That's the reading. That's, what the, that's the translation. I'm telling you, asking you the Are context. you saying that the Arabic doesn't say this? I'm asking you the context. And I'm asking you, is Allah telling a lie when he says it's perfect? Well, for me to answer that, I need to know the context. Is something perfected? And for me to answer that. Okay, so you don't want to answer the question. Is there any Muslim willing to defend his Quran? I'll do it that. next week for you. Right. That's Just fair enough. Come back next week. I'll come back to you next week. Come back. Your religion. Here's the thing. The Quran has an obvious God contradiction. Me to tell this man the truth. Great. The Quran yep, has an obvious this. contradiction. It says in the Quran, it says in the Quran in Surah 4, 82, that have they not considered this Quran? If it was from any other than Allah, they would find contradictions therein. That's what the Quran says. So it gives me a challenge. It says, consider the Quran and see if you can find contradictions. So I'm considering the Quran. And the Quran says, this day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you. If something is perfected and completed, you don't need to add to it because it's perfect, it's completed. But if something isn't perfect and completed, like you, con like you continue to add to it. The Quran states that at a certain point in time, the Quran, Islam was perfected and completed. But Muslims themselves say that the surah and verse was not the last verse of the Quran. Which means that when Allah said, to this day I have perfected your religion upon you and completed my favor upon you, what he really meant was, this day I have not yet perfected my religion for you and not yet completed my blessing upon you because every verse of the Quran is a blessing isn't that true Mr. Brown every Quran is a verse is a blessing so there were more blessings to come which means that Allah was telling a lie or he didn't know what he was talking about or Muhammad was not a prophet of Allah and he was just talking out of his Bedouin ass and that's much more likely Happy that now? is much more likely. Happy now? I haven't finished. Satisfied? No. Yeah, but... Carry on. Okay. What was the last verse of the Quran then? So the last surah of the Quran was surah 110. Let's read it. Surah 110. What does it say? Let's have a look. 
So this by Muslim so sources. Surah 110. But the dispute is about Surah 5 3. I want you to see what surah. this man, Alec, go to surah. says. Yes. God added. Yes. So if, if Surah 110 came after Surah 5, verse 3, then that means Allah was wrong to say that he had perfected and completed his blessing, his religion. So Allah told a lie, or Allah didn't know what he was talking about, or more accurately, Muhammad is not a prophet of Allah. Allah lays down a challenge to me as a Christian. Find contradictions in the Quran. I found a contradiction in the Quran. Therefore, Islam is not true. Yeah, the same with Christianity. Exactly By comparison, the Christianity the is exactly brother the says same. exactly the same. I'm sorry, He's I agree with you. He's utterly wrong. I agree with you. He's but utterly wrong. With Christianity. Show me in the Bible. Yeah where the Bible claims yeah. these two things. Yeah. Show me in the Bible where the Bible says that it is free of contradictions. Yeah. It makes no such claim. Yeah. Show me in the Bible show where the, the Bible, Bible says the on Bible this day, I have perfected your religion, Jesus. Christianity, and completed my the blessing upon you. It doesn't Bible. say that. Oh my God, they were so my they were criticism Christian. of they the Quran no, no, is no, no, valid about the Quran but it is not valid about the Bible because Christians and Muslims believe different things. Are you a Muslim? Moses Are you a Muslim? No. Right, Moses so he's not never, even relevant to the debate. Me a question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is there any Muslim that I, can defend yeah, their I Quran? Am, I am defending. Look, you can go over there. Maybe the one over there. Are you are you one? I agree exactly. Are there any Muslims that can defend their Quran from the most obvious contradiction? Your religion is based based upon a lie. Yeah, and same you. Islam is a lie. If you believe in Islam, you have been deceived. The truth rests with Jesus Christ, who describes himself as the way, the truth, and the life. History testifies that Jesus Christ was crucified and rose again. The Quran contradicts what history. Jesus. The Quran is wrong. The Bible is true. Where is Golden Shower Boy? Mohammed Hijab, Golden Shower Boy. In fact, Ali Dawa's over there. Let's go ask him. Have a good day. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Oh, Mora, we love you, Mora. Ali. I've got a question for you. Don't run away. Come on, come on, we love you, Borat. And we love you, Borat. Your acolytes tell me to come and debate. We love you, we love you. Why is Ali running? No, I'm not running. Don't run away. There you go, Dawa team, Muslims, there's your champion running from a debate. Like the Dawa team do every week, you saw it with your own eyes. And why? Because your Quran is full of contradictions. There was one contradiction. You want to debate me? You didn't answer my so last debate. question. <laughs> here's, oh, which version here's is the true debate. No, 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 no. Here's Last the debate. Last call. You didn't. You failed. So, to answer my question. Do you want to have a considered debate? Yeah, he's got, he's got. Is it true do you want we, to? We love the answer. We love the answer. Which you version is true one of God? Of God? No, no, you're no, not taking it seriously. No, no, you're not. You think? Let's debate. Let's get a timer. Four minutes for him. Four minutes for me. No, 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 no. No, yeah, let's do that. Can, can someone get a timer? Can someone get a timer? The brother here. The brother there. Let's get a timer. Four, maybe. Yeah. He is not serious. That's why I can't debate.
Yeah, 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 go. Why does he not want to debate? And he failed in it. No, I get okay. Mr. Brown. No, he's a braggart. Yay! Mr. Brown doesn't want to debate. No, I can't believe that. Runs away. I don't believe that. I don't believe that, Bob. No, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, you want to debate this? No, Mr. Brown. Yeah, go, Mr. Brown. About this. About this. What is this? About this. Okay, so, Mr. Brown, why are you saying what is this? You were recording me over there. Why are you pretending not to know you were recording me over there? Oh, he forgot, he forgot, he forgot, okay. he forgot. For those of you that don't know, okay. the Quran lays down a challenge to Christians. You came to preach the Bible. The challenge. Why are you attacking Islam? This is the if you came here to preach the Bible, talk about the Bible. Debate, Debate. 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 if you're serious. Debate. 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 You're not serious. You're not serious. We're having to go. Ali, 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 it's only one place you know. Like, see, see, what, see what happens, bro? <laughs> yeah, 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 have a big thing. Uh, how far will Ali walk before he turns green? He's just taking for us a walk around the park. Wow. He's, he's, uh, he's Don't not... do a shamsy on me, Ali. No, come on now, bro. Right. Come on, Ali, one okay, question, bro. I'm not bro. gonna follow him all the way around. The <laughs> just, just, just to this path, and if he just keeps. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, okay. okay. Not Ali. <laughs> Yeah. This is your champion! <laughs> this is your champion, Dawati! Wow. He's running away! No, he's walking! He's walking! He's walking away! He's walking away! Ali! Oh, Ali! What did I tell you we were going to do? We just going to do a lap! I want to thank you for the exercise, but I'm not wanting you as a PT instructor. I can do PT instruction. We're looking at trees! Your Quran says this! We're looking at nature! This day, I have perfected your religion for you! Completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Tell me, tell me, Ali. Was Allah lying? Yeah, that's a good one, bro. Was Allah lying? Champion of the Muslims. I brought him on Turnos. Bring him on Turnos. Let me ask you a question. 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 Let me ask you a Mansour is knowledgeable. So, no, 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 we can vote. One question, Mansour. Come on, Mansour, one question. You are, you are the best debater of the Dawa team, Mansour. Not interested with was this. Was Allah telling a lie when he said I have perfected your religion? But you are the best debater, though. Come on, Mansour. Everyone tells me to debate you. Yes. Yes. Here I am coming to you debate you. You are the best Dawa debater, Mansour. Come on. We think you're great, Mansour. One day when you are the best debater. He's definitely the best dressed of the Dawa team. Yay! Go, he's got sound. Oh, oh, my God. We love you, my son. Where's, where's the might of the Dawa team? I don't know, boy. Why are your champions running away, Muslims? It's only one question, though. I'll tell you why. Why? Because they know that their Quran has contradictions in it. Ah, okay. They know that Allah told a lie okay. when he said, I've perfected your religion for you, okay. and then proceeded to add to perfection. Ah, so be that. Where are your champions? Yeah, They're all know. running away. I don't know what's going you on. You keep saying that we have to debate Mansour. Yeah, next week. He's running away. Ah, next week. Ah, next week. Ah, okay, okay. He's running away. That's not Christianity. I'll leave you guys alone now. Thank you. Wow. Well, we did try though. We did try though. Uh, well, we, did try. we did try. We did try. We did try. So let me explain what's at stake. Okay, what's at stake, Bob? Let me explain what's at stake. Explain it. We've all gone for some nice exercise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right courtesy <laughs> of our PT instructor, Ali. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Canadian we love you, Ali. And we were all very impressed <laughs> yeah. by the fashion sense of Mansour. Yeah. Congratulations, Mansour. We love you, Mansour. But the champions of the Dawa team yeah. are not willing to defend their Quran. Ah, okay. And why are they not willing to defend their Quran? Why, Bob? Because we Christians in the park yeah. have got the Dawa team on the ropes <laughs> and on the run. This is what's at stake. What's at stake, Bob? The Quran says, yeah. if this was from any other than Allah, okay. I would find contradictions inside the Quran. Is it? Ah, okay. Here's a contradiction for you. There's many, Bob. This day, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Perfected means that it can't be improved. Okay. Completed means that it is a finished work. Okay. But yet Allah in his wisdom yeah. still needed to add to the Quran. Ah, be that. Because there were other ayahs added to the Quran after this claim. Ah, okay. So what Allah really meant to say was this day I have not perfected your religion. I have not completed my blessings upon you. Because every verse of the Quran is a blessing. So therefore, Allah was wrong. But it gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so much worse. Every single Muslim we've tried to debate about this topic runs away. Muslims in the park, like the king of the golden shower, Muhammad Hijab, talks about the development of Christian doctrine, like the Trinity. Well, thank you, Muhammad Hijab, for giving me a stick that I can beat your religion with. Because if Muhammad Hijab says that development in doctrine is not permissible, that it is proof that it is not from God, here are nine examples of historical development within Islam. Example number one, whether Quranic recitation is created or uncreated. That question was decided at the time of Imam Bukhari, 200 years after Allah. The question of predestination was decided after the time of Muhammad. The question of succession was left open by Muhammad. Muslims did not agree about how Muhammad should be succeeded. The Sunnis give one answer. The Shias give a different answer. And the Kawaraji gave a third answer. Those answers do not agree. It was decided after Muhammad whether zakat should be continued after the death of Muhammad was decided after Muhammad. Muslims fought a war and killed one another over this question. Whether the Quran was created or uncreated was a doctrine decided after Muhammad. Whether Allah's attributes, whether Allah's attributes were real or anthropomorphic was decided after Muhammad. The relation between deeds and piety and Imam and how these three things affect one another was decided after Muhammad. The compilation of the Quran was done after Muhammad. The collection of the Hadiths was done after Muhammad. The legal schools of Islamic jurisprudence 
Hanbali, Hanafi, Maliki, and Shafi came after Muhammad in the 9th and the 8th centuries. The Ashari theological school of Islam came in the 10th century after Muhammad. The Murtadiya theological school came in the 9th century, 10th century after Muhammad. Salafism is no older than 100 years old. That's after Muhammad. So, Muslims, let me ask you this question. Ask it, Bob. Was Allah right or wrong when he said, on this day I have perfected your religion and completed my blessings upon you? If he was right, why all the bidah? Why all the innovation? If he was wrong, why believe in the Quran? Because Allah is saying something that is not true. Now, is there any Muslim willing to defend against the thesis? Step forward. I don't think anybody wants to listen to In other words, no. I tried to debate Ali Dawa, I tried to debate Mansour, I tried to debate multiple Muslims, and they just run away. What's your message today? My message is that Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. I have, I've been talking about it earlier today. Because Muslims attack Christianity in the park. Oh, are you sure? How many times have you come to the park? First time. So she's saying, she's saying, Muslims on attack Christianity in the park. Sister, I've come here for four years solid. Muslims are attacking Christianity in the park. And if Muslims attack Christianity, we can attack Islam. So, let me ask you, let me ask you. Do you believe in the Quran? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to ask you. You're a hypocrite because you're a hypocrite because you're talking about Islam preaching hate, but you're preaching hate. You're preaching that about Islam. I Tell me, Islam that. says, you, you, the Quran you, says, do you believe these religion? words? Was Allah right? Was Allah right? Was Allah right? What about other religions? Was Allah right when he said, what about, why is all, I have why perfected is all that your religion? Islam? Was he right or was why, he wrong? Why are you talking Islam? Was, was he right or was he wrong? Now, my question to you is, why are you attacking okay. Islam? Okay, because for two reasons. Number one, Muslims attack Christianity in the past. My gosh, we got we got Nobody, countless videos. This is your first day because you don't know love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're a regular in the park and have heard Muslims attack Christianity, raise your hand. There you go. I've got all these witnesses. They're all telling you they're wrong. Four against. Put your hands back up if you heard Muslims attack Christianity. Even some Muslims have raised their hand. So you're wrong. So they're all lying. So they put Are they all wrong? So they put their hands up. Are they all wrong? So they put their hands up. That's what you're saying. You're saying they're wrong. No, no. You're saying they're lying. Are they lying? You just said. Are they lying? Are they lying? All of them. Are they lying? It's the first time here. Notice she's not even answering the question. No, why? Why don't you want to answer the question? You're talking about attacking other people. Like Muslims attack Christianity. Your message here today. Sorry. It's supposed to be Christianity. It is, and I've not talked about, about Christianity earlier. Not about attacking religion. Sorry, here's my, second reason. Here's, my second reason. here's my second reason. Here's my second reason. I'm not bothered. Here's my... Oh, I'm, no. She I'm wants saying, to know, I'm but now she's why? not bothered. Why is your so she asks a question, but she's not interested in the answer. So why? my reasons for reason? attacking Islam yeah, are twofold. One, yeah. Muslims attack Christian beliefs in the park. Yeah, yeah. And we've already demonstrated there are plenty of witnesses against that. Just want to point out to you that your Muhammad says that your witness is half the witness of a man. So just so you know, you're outvoted by the witnesses surrounding you. Muhammad said. Muhammad said. Muhammad said that you're deficient in your religion because you lack intellect. But the majority of those in hell are women. That's what Muhammad said. Muhammad said that you can only inherit half that of a man. That's what Muhammad said. Muhammad said 
Blow your women like the fields. That's what Mohammed said. But now, let me give you my second reason. My second reason for criticizing Islam is because Islam is an ideology right, so your that if tonight implemented, is Islam, basically. If, if implemented would result in the persecution of Christians. And that's the attitude we see in Muslim culture all the time. You can't criticize Islam, but we can criticize you, and we will lie at the drop of a hat. Why is it consistently Video after video after video, we catch Muslims out telling lies in the park. Why? I'll tell you why. Because Islam does not value truth in the same way that Christianity does. So I'll ask again, is there any Muslim, since Ali Dawa won't do it, since what Mansour won't do it, and they can hear my voice, is there any Muslim willing to defend their Quran? Let's go find Hashim. Ah, okay, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowledge to knowledge. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Hashim. 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 Where is this Dawah team? Oh, here he is. Okay, it's in the debate. Alright, let's, let's wait, let's wait. Let's I'm, not, I'm not going to interrupt Hashim because yeah, yeah. he's in a debate and I wouldn't want someone to do that to me. Yeah, Though, fair enough. Though, repeatedly, yeah, yeah. Muslims do. Fair enough, fair enough. But the fact of the matter is, guys, yeah, yeah. if Islam teaches something that's self-contradictory, yeah. you don't need to believe in Islam. Pretty much. And I've given you evidence. Flawless victory.